Hi, I'm Dr. Jamal Rashid, President, CEO, and Founder of the Ellis County African American Hall of Fame Museum and Library here in Waxahachie, Texas, located at 441 East Martin Luther King Boulevard. I'd like to welcome you to our great establishment and institution here in the city of Waxahachie, where we, our mission and our goal is to educate and inform. In an effort to educate, inform, and provide knowledge to people, in my hopes, will reduce racism and discrimination because knowledge is the key to erasing it all. We're going to talk today about the upcoming holiday, which is Juneteenth. Juneteenth is a day that is celebrated um, in most parts of the country, but yet today it will become perhaps one of those days that will become a national holiday. It is now going before the Senate, and if it does, it will be the 12th national holiday on the calendar. Emancipation Proclamation was signed by Abraham Lincoln in 19, excuse me, in uh, 1863. Okay, following the Emancipation Proclamation, um, all of the states in the United States had not received the word, and they had not received the, uh, the, the instructions for what needed to be done to release and free slaves. Uh, in 1865, it slowly but surely made its way uh, to the other parts of the country. And by 1867, uh, Juneteenth was, um, took, took place. So three or four years after the original Emancipation Proclamation, thus uh, began the transition to the Juneteenth holiday that we're trying to recognize. So Juneteenth recognizes that all of the country had received word and had began to, or was supposed to receive word, to free their slaves. Um, so it didn't happen directly after Emancipation Proclamation, particularly in the South, where uh, the uh, Confederates were still wanting to maintain slavery in this country. And so the Southern states refused to obey the orders of Abraham Lincoln and make it so that uh, the slaves were free. Following that episode, uh, the other states joined in, Texas ultimately joined in, and the Freedmen's Bureau was founded. Freedmen's Bureau was founded in 1865 to assist those newly freed slaves in transitioning to regular, normal, everyday life in this country. Educational institutions were open, which include Howard University, Fisk University, uh, Howard University Hospital, which was formerly known as the Freedmen's Hospital, and African American colleges or black, nationally known black colleges throughout the country began to pop up. And so we began to transcend into being educators, lawyers, doctors, uh, physicians, and, and continuing to find our way into mainstream the United States. So thus was the history of Juneteenth. Juneteenth also has a flag that came with it. Um, the flag for Juneteenth uh, represents the red, white, and blue. And the red, white, and blue represents the American flag. Uh, it is to say that the descendants of Africa were also Americans. And African Americans are Americans. The star represents the freedom of African Americans in all 50 states. So therefore, uh, the African, the Juneteenth flag represents the United States, represents the colors of the United States. It says that the slaves were Americans and African Americans are Americans. And the star represents the 50 states in which we are all proclaimed free in this country. So with that historical note in mind, we'd like to invite you to come by the Ellis County African American Hall of Fame Museum and Library and peruse around the facility to learn more about African American life in Ellis County and throughout the rest of the United States. Let's make Juneteenth the opportunity for you to gain knowledge, knowledge is power, eradicate any race, racism and prejudice in the United States by joining us as one humanitarian effort and one humanitarian group. We are humans. Come on by. Thank you.